Hello everyone. Now let's talk about Nmap. So Nmap stands for Network Mapper and it's one of the best open source tool used for scanning the network. With the help of Nmap, we can scan open ports and the services running on them including their version number. So the Nmap is also used for searching the operating system that is running on the remote host and with the help of Nmap, we can perform various scans including service scan, aggressive scan and with the help of aggressive scan, we can fetch a much more detailed information including our target, operating system and the metadata and some additional information like internal files. Now let's see how we can use Nmap in order to perform various scans. Now let's see that how we can find open ports and their version number by using Nmap. So in order to use Nmap we have to start our Kali Linux and here you can see that right now I am inside my Kali Linux instance. So in order to start Nmap we first have to open the terminal. Let me open it up. So in order to start Nmap we just have to write Nmap followed by the website name or the IP address. So let me just write down here. Okay. So once you write the website name you can also write a particular port and let's scan all the ports which are open on this website along with their services. Now let me hit enter and here you can see that our Nmap scan has been started and it's my Nmap version 7.40. It's a, it's a newer version because I'm using Kali Linux 2 and it shows us the detail of port its state and along with its services. So you can look at here that on port 22 the state is open, the port 22 is open and the service running on port 22 is SSH. So same you can see HTTP service, Kerbos, HTTPS and some MySQL service and few other services. So this was the basic usage of Nmap. Now what if if you want to scan the version number or you want to enumerate the version number of a particular service. So why enumerating the version number is important? So as a penetration tester your main goal is to find the version number because once you get the version number a penetration tester can use some tools or can search the particular exploit corresponds to that version number. So that's why scanning the version number is must. So there is one scan in Nmap called as version scan. So let's see how we can use it. So we have to write Nmap hyphen S and capital V. So S is for steel and this V is for version number followed by the website name. So you can even write the IP address instead of writing the website name. hit enter. So these kind of scans take little bit time. Okay. So let's see the result. So it's here is a port, then the next column is of state, then services and here you can see additional column of version. So this output is same but here is the thing. So here is a service SSH and you can just uh, read its version open SSH 6.2 then HTTP version then MySQL and Apple. So now it's giving us an additional information that this website is hosted on Mac. Here you can see Mac OS. So this was all about this service scan. So the best practice of a system administrator here is hide the version number of the running services. So now let's talk about aggressive scan in Nmap. So aggressive scan is one of the most powerful scan of an Nmap because aggressive scan contains all the features of different different scan or you can say that aggressive scan is a combination of 
different scan so by aggressive scan one can find the services version number metadata disallow directories and even the routing also dns servers names also and some additional stuff so now let's see how we can use aggressive scan in nmap so in order to use it we again have to write nmap hyphen capital a followed by the website name so this scan aggressive scan take little bit time so we have to be patient okay now scan has been completed now let's analyze it result okay so here you can see that first of all it has enumerated the ssh public host keys then the php version also of port 80 http and here you can see the additional information like http title the website title along with the ssl server detail so if i scroll down you can see a lot of juicy details along with the name server domain name server and it, it has also find that the operating system on which this website is hosted so it's hosted on apple os x and if i scroll down here you will see or find the trace route detail so here you can see the trace route so this scan can perform a best information gathering for our target so this was all about nmap and the basic usage of nmap now thanks for watching this video